All right, y'all, what's up? Let's get some guys unchained in here. Nature. Forage. Yes. So a mid-range forage deck. You know, I was trying to make this a bit aggro-y. I think that's the way you got to build nature. You just got to make them um, aggro. The, the creatures are just naturally going to be better. All right, another Atlantean deck. She. Creatures are just going to be better better in general here. Uh, do I play a bag of tricks? Nah, we're just going to put our 2-2 two -two out there. Then other aggro decks. So it's, not a, it's probably not an issue going over the top of any other aggro decks like a war aggro deck but when we face control decks we want to be aggro so look at this dude though he's beasting on us straight beast dude look at this guy bruh chill bruh and he's gonna draw atlantean all right we're gonna put a little our little dude out there though He's a new addition. I put the Trojan Golem in here. He might seem a bit defensive, but he replaces himself on a board wipe. And I also added another creature, a one drop, who's 2 2 Ward, who also protects itself uh, to board wipe. So look at this guy. He's got another front line protecting his dude. That is so rough. Dude, I can't even kill this guy. I gotta go bam, bam. And then he can kill my dude. Rough. Ooh, that's a good draw. So if we smack here, which we might want to do. It looks like this guy's a little aggro-y. He might have a better late game than us. But if we smack here, play the boar... And we trade, we just go right to even. I don't really like that. I don't want to trade my boar here. I could just play this and see what happens. I think that's a better deal. Just, just play this and see what happens. He could take out either one of these guys. And even if this rolling watcher attacks into us, he'll trade right here unless he has a pump. So I think that's the best play. All right. So not bad. 6-1. Hopefully he doesn't have removal and smacks us for 6. We don't want this to happen. Uh-oh. Plus 1, plus 1. Don't do it. Okay. I don't know what that did. Destroy a friendly creature. If this creature is in the void, give it plus 2 and pull it. All right. I don't know what the hell that does. Living container. If the creature is in a void, give it plus two, plus two, and pull it onto the board. So what? If, if the duplicate is in the void, so I guess this guy wants to fill his void up and then use this card? Oh, no. So if I kill this dude, then he gives it plus two, plus two. Oh, so he'll get a 2-3 Rolling Watcher when this dies. Okay, that's pretty good. That's pretty good. So I guess, you know, I guess we're going to race Death here. And we have a decent plan with this Canopy Barrage. If the only creature he plays... Is this Rolling Watcher? Now, if he plays another creature, not so much, but we're doing good. So the top of our curve is six mana. And we have six six drops in this deck. Okay, so here comes the Watcher. All right, a two five. Oh my goodness, a three five. She, right? All right, so he's going to smack us at the start of each turn. So is that the start of my turn and his turn? 
Dude, Rolling Watcher might be one of those cards that you just gotta scoop up, like a, like an investment card. That card seemed like it's pretty good. So what do we do though? I think we're going to four and draw. I think we put this guy out here. We could play a five drop, but he doesn't have to attack. He could just ignore it and drop us down. So I think we're just gonna do that and draw. All right, let's see. Every turn, does he get plus one, plus one? All right, so he got plus one, z plus zero on his turn. Let's see at the start of our turn if he also gets plus one. If that's the case, this card is freaking good, dude. <laughs> I already think he's good, but if that's the real deal, then he is amazing. All right, don't play nothing else, dude. Don't play nothing else. Oh, he's playing it all. He's playing them all. All right, what do we do? We need a board. All right, does he get plus one? Oh, my goodness. Rolling Watcher every turn? Dude! That card is freaking bananas, dude. Oh, but this card's too, the hunt. I need to get another one of these. This card, freaking good too, bruh. Hell yeah. Oh, damn. Not good enough. We're about to get smashed for 9, 10, 11, 12. Yo! We about to get smashed, dude. About to eat it. I need more removal. Now my hand is full of threats. I just can't get them out fast enough. All right, Black Rhino's coming up. That's racist. It's fucking racist, bro. Black Rhino, excuse me. What? Chill out, bro. Chill. Chill out. Damn, rolling watcher, dude. What a pain in my ass. Okay, here we go. Dryder Sailweaver. Here's the guy I put in. I think he's pretty good. Oh my goodness. Can I crush somehow these dudes? I don't think so. Frontline confirmed. All right, he's only got three cards in hand. We got a boatload of cards in hand. And a 5A frontline. We got more front lines where that came from. Come on, baby. Trade and don't be able to kill me. The Rolling Watcher. He's not watching anymore. He gave up. You got me to 11. That's pretty good. It's pretty good, dude. And let me tell you, I've been getting smashed in God's Unchained lately. Just putting it out there, you know, brewing these decks, just throwing them out there, making misplays. Oh, shit. It's my turn. What the fuck am I doing? Yo, come on, man. Thought I passed that shit back. It, this is delayed a little bit. I did notice this. Like, I'll just be clicking the shit out of it sometimes. Oh, shit. Drawing cards now, too. All right, we're taking six. I need something. Board wipe, something. Another rhino, maybe? I guess he doesn't have removal for rhino. Okay, that's not bad. But is it enough? To stop his barrage. No, he's got seven on the board. Two damage. I want to get rid of this guy. Oh, snap. So this Mystic just healed me up. All right, I like that. I, all right, I could do this. I could do two damage here and four damage here. One of these guys. Maybe that's enough. I kind of like that. It's a little risky, though. Oh, but do I do three and heal my god? I don't think I can do three. I think I have to do four to guarantee a kill. All right, well, I would have won. I would have won the 50-50 chance, but to me, not worth it. So hopefully he doesn't have a three damage spell. Or we are out. So now I got this dude on the board little something cool card too I like the art on this card 
And I can play a Black Rhino next turn. Hopefully, he can't really add too much. Okay, he's doing some some shenanigans. Some reanimate shenanigans. I don't know what. I don't know what he's doing. Ooh, are we going to gain health? But look, whenever your god gains health. Oh. Okay. Well, we don't care about that. So we are going to do three damage. We're going to gain some health. Let's go. We're going to attack into this. Oh, yeah, baby. Oh, yeah, baby. Now, do we play this five and try to have him on the board to heal for seven? I think we do. We're pretty much at the point now where we need to heal. And that's pretty good. All right. Did we stabilize? Nature. Mid-range. Have we somehow stabilized? Stable. Come on, baby. Uh, oh. Oh, don't mind me. I'm just the 1010. Don't mind the 1010. Just, yeah, he's just there. He's just chilling. All right. Uh, don't mind the 1010. Just sitting there. What do I do about that dude? I just play my four. I can't kill him. I could gain seven, but I don't think so. I'm going to go to the face. Play my four. Forage. Or maybe I should have foraged first. Play this one drop. And hope he doesn't have removal for my front line. So we're still, we're playing a risky game. We are playing a risky game. No removal. No whammy. I know death has a ton of removal too. All right, maybe he doesn't. I like that five drop too. That's a really good card. Everybody's got it except me. I don't have it. Oh, he's healing me though. Oh, hell yeah, dude. Oh, hell yeah. All right, it was big turn for us, big turn for us. My initial thought is crush here, then I kill, then I kill. That's my initial thought. I'll heal the seven plus this guy. This guy's helping me, this raving necromancer. You are raving. And you are helping a brother out. But that 10 is still a problem. I'll have to play a guard unit here. All right, so that's my first thought. I think that works. I could also sacrifice this guy. Nah, I don't think that works. Well, he's going to drive into here. So, okay, here we go. He's deadly. Everyone dies to this guy. He's deadly. Deadly. Alright, crush you. Crush you. Uh oh, time's running out. This is supposed to be a big turn for me. Uh, dang it. This was supposed to be a big turn, man. I don't have enough time for this. This was a big turn. I could have mana, pack stalked, and did a whole bunch of other stuff. But my brain can't figure it out yet. Damn it! I don't know. What the hell is the piece playing? These cards. I don't know what he's playing. Damn, dude. My brain can't figure out the lines yet. I had a I had a bigger turn. I had a better turn. Damn. Damn. I had a turn there, man. I could have pack stalked and did some cool ass stuff, but I had to figure out my attacks first. All right, what are we doing here, man? We're doing some wild stuff. You know we're getting big, down, dirty, and nasty. Dirty, nasty, stanky. All right, seven mana, four and a three. Is that our play? I think so. We got to play this, so we know that. We're playing that. Four and a two. We're just going to empty our hand, right? We're going to pack stalk here. We're just going to refresh five, take two, and play a three. Let's go, baby. Big big turn. 
Ooh, transform a random enemy creature into a 05 overgrown golem with frontline and regen 5. Well, I wish I had a booty dude. I could just do that to him, right? He's a big scary behemoth. I might as well do it. Because he's just going to be... Oh, it's transform random! Well, okay. I guess when you play nature, you don't get to choose, man. Nature chooses! You just gotta let nature run its course. And shit your pants. You don't get to choose these days. You don't get to choose in nature and God's Unchained, though. We're confused. All the spells are random. And you just roll the dice. But my frontline creatures have really been good in this game. Those, those two creatures are a must, dude. They're commons as well in Genesis. They're freaking... You know, if this game takes off, those cards are must-haves. It's just, I don't have the money, man. I'm not really willing to invest. I'm just fucking... I'm just out here. The cards that I buy are the cards that I'm going to use. I'm not, like, buying a fucking shit ton of cards. Uh, uh. All right, we're going to take three then, I guess. Because we're drawing. Oh, yeah, baby. I like it. Let's... Another cool thing, though, one of the real cool things about this uh, Forage and Random is you get to experience all the cards in nature. All right, what is happening here? Destroy the enemy creature with the lowest health. Oh, shit. So, and it, that's pretty good. Dreaming Scepter? Oh, no, not the Spiral Golem. This dude's a savage. I don't like seeing this guy. I kind of want this guy, too. I've considered picking this guy up. He just attacks a random dude. Okay, here we go. Another friendly Amazon. Do I have any Amazons? She's an Amazonian. Oh, hell yeah. Five, six, seven, eight. I can do that. But really, is it worth it with this big beast? I might as well just put little babies out there. Let's see what I draw. Lightning strike. Now that art is awesome too. I want to do this. And I will. Ooh, burn dude, oh baby. Can you feel that? Yo. And he's just going to attack right here, so he's going to die. Nice. Nice answer for the golem, dude. It was a big, beefy body. But he got destroyed. Alright, now who's he gonna run? I know Death had some good top end. They got some good dudes. I got beat up by it before. Alright, he's reanimating somebody. Somebody special. Who shall it be? Whenever they take damage, this creature gets one strength. Okay, well... He's got something going on. Some little life leech combo action. See what we got. Okay, here's my dude. That witch aches. I think this is a perfect deck for this card, really. But not with a deadly creature on the board. So we got to play little dudes and just try to trade with them. Let's draw and see what we get. Okay, that's a good draw. So we could offer up the trade with the Rhino. He's probably willing to take it. But even better, we could probably just play a two and a two. And make him take it. If he doesn't take it, we'll attack back here. Getting close to the end of our deck. Seven cards in the deck for us, six for him. Now, does this Scepter just destroy somebody here? All right, so maybe he'll just do five to my face or four to my face, but this... Oh, it won't trade! Okay, well, he doesn't play a frontliner. We'll try to take that scorpion out and then play our aching bastard to try to get this going. Ooh, okay, well, he wants to hit us for five now. All right, he's going for it. He's going for the kill. I guess we will 
have to offer up the rhino. Well, actually, we can play this. My Rito's daughter, if he doesn't play frontline, and he does play frontline, unfortunately. Five, six. Okay. So, a 4-4 four, four front line, or a 4-4 four, four blitz. It's not enough because he played the Stevian Brawler, who is a beast. All right, let's draw and hope to get something good. No. 4. All right. We're in a little bit of trouble here. We can't play two spells. Maybe he wants this trade if I put this giant out there. Blitz is not going to be enough. But I think I do it. Just to hurt him a little bit? I don't think so. I don't think so. Let me just put the rhino out. Maybe he wants the rhino trade. I might be dead. I might be screwing this up. He could just totally ignore the rhino. Hit me for eight. Or if he pumps. Okay, good. Good, I like that. Now I play that with Jake's, but do I? Maybe I just play the my Rito's daughter. I have to play my Rito's daughter. Oh no. I'm about to get a five drop. Oh no. Oh no, another front line! We're just dead. We are just dead. Oh, the ogre though. Four. Five. Oh, we're still dead, man. We're still dead. I could do this, ogre. I'm dead because look right here. There's nothing I could do. Damn, just dead. Man, I gained a lot of health that game too and still died. Seemed like it was a close game. Maybe I do a forage and just see what I can top deck. Let's try it. Oh, the hunt. Okay, the hunt's not bad. Maybe it's not bad. Oh, no, because I, I can't play my Rito after the hunt. Damn. It's over. Damn. Four damage. Exaxes. Damn. Salty. Nuts. All right, he's got me. He's rubbing it in now. Yeah, yeah, rub it in. Damn. Defeat. Keep getting defeated. But we did hit level 40. We got an epic pack. Unfortunately, we didn't get nothing in it. 374 cards, and uh, we're just going, man. Keeping it rolling. But we are getting ripped. Thank you all for watching. Catch you in the next one. Later!